Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good morning, I'm Clay Lepard. Here's a look at your top local stories. Cleveland police say they've found the car and arrested a man involved in a hit and run that killed a three year old girl. It all happened just after 10 o'clock Thursday night. Police tell us the three year old girl, a 10 year old girl and a 27 year old man were all riding bikes on track road when an SUV hit all of them. The adult and the 10 year old girl were both hurt, but the three year old died at the hospital. Mayor Justin Bibb says this is the third child recently hit and killed in Cleveland, and he hopes some of his initiatives, like adding speed tables, will help make the streets safer. To help lower gun violence in our state, Governor Mike DeWine announced new grants for 14 law enforcement agencies. It adds up to three and a half million dollars. This is the fifth round of funding from the Ohio Violent Crime Reduction Program. The money is also designated to help these agencies combat human, human trafficking. Four Northeast Ohio departments were among those awarded money in those rounds. Those departments are Summit, Medina, and Cuyahoga counties. And this morning, a Lorain County Sheriff's deputy is out of a job and facing two felony charges after he was accused of stealing from a crime scene. The Sheriff's Office says Dylan Hazard, seen here, was among the deputies working a death investigation last Friday when a family member of the person who died said money went missing from the home. An investigation found Hazard was the only deputy alone in the room where the money was reportedly taken. Hazard later confessed to taking the money and gave it back. He's charged with felony theft and theft in office and fired. Today we do have a chance for some strong to severe storms and there's already a severe thunderstorm watch issued for some of our western and southern communities like Richland, Erie, Huron County until 2 p.m. So that gives you an idea of when showers and storms are most likely from about now until the mid and late afternoon. We'll have another shot for some widespread showers and storms Sunday after 4 p.m. Both days could be strong or severe storms. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.